Since the establishment of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission in 2003, to investigate financial crimes in Nigeria, the agency has been entrenched in controversy, partly for its approach in fighting corruption, which experts have described as selective and for the character of persons that steer its affairs. Nuhiribadu was the pioneer chairperson of the EFCC starting his tenure in 2003 at the instance of former President Olusegun Obasanjo. He became the poster boy for Nigeria's attempt to redeem its image in the eye of the international community a few years after the return to democratic rule. During his time as EFCC chairman, Ribadu, who was a career law enforcement officer with the Nigeria Police Force, failed to appeal a 2007 court ruling that sought to stop the EFCC from investigating alleged crimes by former Rivers State Governor, Peter Odili. The ruling derailed what has been described by the Human Rights Watch as the most important case in the history of the Commission with the capacity to secure more convictions for the EFCC in the future. The court also restrained the anti-graft agency from probing the finances of the Rivers State Government, which has continued to be in effect to date. Ribadu fell out of favor with the powers that be in December 2007 and was forced out of office two weeks after he tried to prosecute powerful former Delta State Governor, James Ibori, a close associate of Obasanjo's successor in office, Bumari Yaradua. Ribadu was forced out of a graduation ceremony by security operatives at the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru, Plateau State. He was demoted by the police and then retired. Azuri's appointment in May 2008 shortly after Nuhuribadu was booted out was clouded by allegations that she was sponsored by ex-governors such as James Ivory and George Akum, former governor of Binyu State, to cover up their money laundering and fraud charges before the commission. Wazuri failed to secure convictions for high-profile cases involving former governors already instituted by her predecessor. Her appointment, Sahara reporters gathered, at the time was at the instance of Bukola Sariki, former Kura state governor, Ibori, and Akum, all of who had corruption cases with the EFCC at the time and continue to do so in 2020. She allegedly issued letters of official clearance to Ibori, who has since been convicted of fraud and money laundering in the United Kingdom despite Nigeria's failure to do so. Wazuri also reportedly issued clearance to Victor Atta, former governor of Akwaibum state, who is wanted in the UK. In one incident, former American ambassador to Nigeria, Robin Sanders, walked out of a meeting with the then Foreign Affairs Minister, Ohoma Duak, because of Wazuri's presence. Wazuri was sacked by former President Goodluck Jonathan on November 23, 2011. He cited national interest as the reason for her dismissal. Sources say her removal is not unconnected to her alleged attempts to dismiss cases of corrupt individuals, thereby bringing Nigeria to disrepute in the international community. Ibrahim Lamard replaced Wazuri on November 23. 2011, as acting chairperson of the EFCC. He became embroiled in controversy in 2015 after the Nigerian Senate alleged that $5 billion, 3.2 billion pounds, had gone missing at the EFCC. A Senate committee led by Senator Peter Nwabashi at the time alleged Lamar diverted assets and cash recovered by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The investigative panel was set up at the instance of George Yabo, a prominent whistleblower. He was sacked by President Muhammadu Buhari on November 9, 2015, and replaced with Ibrahim Maghu. Shortly after his sack, 
the Nigerian Senate in February 2016 authorized its Committee on Ethics, Privileges, and Public Petitions, headed by Senator Sam Enyanwua, to issue a warrant of arrest on Lamard for allegedly misappropriating 1 trillion naira during his time as head of the anti-corruption agency. Despite the allegations against him, he was never arrested by the President Muhammadu Buhari administration. Ibrahim Maghu, the recently suspended chairperson of the EFCC was first appointed as acting chairman of the commission in November 2015 by President Muhammadu Buhari. The Nigerian Senate refused to confirm Maghu as chairman of the agency due to security reports by law enforcement agencies in the country. He is also known to have a public spat with Abubakar Malami, Nigeria's attorney general. The DSS in a 2016 report revealed that Megu was living in a 40 million naira mansion. In December 2010, the Police Service Commission PSC, found Megu guilty of action prejudicial to state security, withholding of EFCC files, sabotage, unauthorized removal of EFCC files and acts unbecoming of a police officer and awarded him severe reprimand as punishment. Megu is currently occupying a residence rented for 40 million naira at 20 million naira per annum. This accommodation was not paid for from the commission's finances, but by one Umar Mohammed, Air Commodore retired, a questionable businessman who has subsequently been arrested by the Secret Service. Investigations show that the acting EFCC chairman regularly embarked on official and private trips through a private jet owned by Mohammed. Furthermore, the EFCC boss has so far maintained a high-profile lifestyle. This is exemplified by his preference for first-class air travels. On June 24, 2016, he flew Emirate Airlines first class to Saudi Arabia to perform lesser hatch at the cost of 2.9 million naira. This is in spite of Mr. President's directive to all public servants to fly economy class. On July 6, 2020, Megu was arrested by operatives of the Department of State Services and the Nigeria Police Force and driven to the presidential villa where he was made to answer questions on alleged corruption against him. He was detained overnight and on July 7 was suspended from his position as chairman of the agency pending the completion of the investigation. Music